Hi guys, it's Beverly. So today we're going to do a yarn review. A yarn review on the Bernat Forever Fleece. This color is sage. I have another one that's in stripes and this is called Tea Tree. And then I have, I think this one's called Oatmeal. No, walnut. <laughs> walnut, so it's brown, you guys, okay? And it's kind of squirming out of this hole right here. But I decided to do a review on this yarn. And I'm going to show it up close as we move along here. But I started a blanket. Now, this blanket that I started is not a free pattern but I do have a free pattern suggestion okay so in the February crochet world magazine there was a blanket or throw lapgan they're calling it called days gone by lapgan and if you have that magazine it's on page 36 and I started making it with this yarn now this yarn is a super bulky six and the yarn that they used was a number five so the um width of the blanket is 34 inches so what i did was i chained like i normally do you guys i chained the amount they said then i did the first row and when it came to 34 inches I stopped that first row and continued on with the second row. And so, as you know, in the past, I will undo the remaining of these chains because I want a 34 inch blanket and it also has a border. Okay. So I got this yarn on the cruise and I just loved it. I traded some other yarns to get more of the fleece. If you have felt this yarn, you know how soft and cushy it is. Now, I have seen some other blanket type yarns that people say they worm, okay? And I haven't apparently bought any of those yarns or they haven't wormed on me so i personally don't know if this will worm that's going to kind of be up to you guys but i thought i would do a yarn review and show you what it looks like work working with it so see you in a minute okay guys i wanted to show you this pattern that i suggest to make with this Bernat Forever Fleece, and it says you will need six balls and an in hook. Now, the hook I'm using here is a mystery hook. <laughs> I need to find my, um, you know, those gauges or whatever that they tell you what size hook this is. I know that it's bigger than an L. <laughs> But I think it's probably a P, but I'm not sure. I have to look. But anyway, on the label of the yarn, which way does it go? This way. There's a picture of this pattern. And when I was on the cruise, a lady was starting this blanket. And it was so soft and so beautiful. And that's what got me in. So as you can see in the video here, it says Bernat Crochet Simple Framed Blanket. And I thought I could also use that striped yarn with possibly some of the sage and who knows, maybe some of the walnut. But anyway, so this is the pattern I recommend. And I haven't done it yet, but it's very, it looks like it's pretty simple. Uh, you chain 97. And the blanket is approximately 50 by 60, and I probably wouldn't make it that long 
or wide so I probably wouldn't need six balls but you do have double crochets and half double crochets together which is kind of the main uh, stitch work and half double crochets I just love them and the, the ranking of this pattern or the skill level is easy so that's my suggested pattern but I guess I've on this I have a lot of it so I'm going to make more than one blanket now this I said was the day gone by lapgan from the February crochet world magazine okay so here's the the yarn so we'll kind of move it out of the way and I'm gonna bring over my work here and I'm going to adjust things just a second. Okay, so I'm on the second row here, and I've just chained one, and I'm just, so I'm basically just doing this to show you how the yarn goes. We know that it's really soft, you guys. Even if you don't buy any, just go touch it somewhere. <laughs> Just do the field test. Now, um, I'm using a big enough hook, or you could use a bigger hook if you wanted. But, and just using it here, it just is so adorable to stitch with. And so I'm pulling it through, as you can see, in a chain one. And I have to skip one there and do another. Okay, I need to pull out some more yarn. I need to chain one, so there's a chain. And these are double crochets. So you can see, You know it's going fairly easy you can see the stitch definition uh, there's not any fuzz coming off of it as you can see it has a small halo I'm gonna chain one here and as you can see it seems to flow really easy with this hook. Now, I don't, I haven't tried it with another hook because um, I mainly use furls hooks, and I don't have a furl. My biggest furl is an L, or my largest is an L. So this plastic one, I don't know where I actually got it. It doesn't have any logos. It doesn't have anything. So I need some more yarn here. So I just thought I would just, you know, give you a sneak peek of this. And you know how it is when you start a project and you use new yarn, you're going, am I going to finish this or not? I'm definitely going to finish this blanket and I'm going to make the other one for sure. Because you guys, it's just so soft. So that's my review on the Bernat Forever Fleece and you can see it comes in a 9.9 .9 ounce um, skein and I'm going to just turn it slowly. There's the pattern I'm going to make and let's see I was hoping it would come up with what it's made out of there it is, 100% polyester. There's the washing instructions. And you guys, I'm just giving it a thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Okay, guys, love you, bye.